If you're an IT professional and you're responsible for helping manage and secure small businesses, you know what a challenge that is. Small businesses need the same type of basic fundamental security that a medium and large business do. And the smaller the company is, they lack manpower resources, they lack monetary resources, they have no technical resources except what you're bringing to the table. The vectors of attack on a small business are just as broad and complex and effective as any business or personal network. Look how effective phishing is against business owners and business employees. It's like taking candy from a kid. So security has to be multi-layered for a small business as well as any medium or large business enterprise. Now, one element of Security 101 is knowing and auditing who is on the local area network. Has that small business router been compromised? Has their wireless security been compromised? And you have rogue devices on their local area network. Well, that's going to be a real problem. Now, we can't bring sophisticated, complex, and expensive tools to a small business. That's just not going to work. So we need simplicity, easy to configure, and the results that we get from these tools have to be easy to interpret. That's ideal for securing some basic fundamentals for a small business. Now, this applies also to a personal network. So I want to show you how to know and audit who is on your local area network. Now, in this particular session, I'm not going to be talking about detecting rats and key loggers. One thing I want to do is being able to look for a simple tool that's easy to use that will audit and track who's on that local area network, who's on my personal local area network. That can go a long way to tell me, do I have a breach in my wireless security? Do I have a breach in my router security? Then I can look at my solutions and address those breaches and fix them. Small businesses are a challenge to secure because they're usually more successful in dense environments, high rises, retail environments where there's lots of businesses around, lots of wireless networks around. It doesn't take a highly skilled hacker to start breaching really poorly implemented wireless security. Even as I look at my own neighborhood, I can quickly look at the wireless setups of most of my neighbors, and it would not take very much to hack in all of their personal networks. That is pretty much what we find with small businesses also. So knowing who's on the land, auditing who's on the land, gives you a firm foundation as to how well your security is really working. Now, if all retail businesses were like this, a fruit stand out in the middle of the desert, It'd be pretty easy to secure. Just get a big dog. But in the cities and dense environments where you have condos and apartments, personal networks are easy, easier to attack and small businesses are easier to attack. Now we're going to look at two software utilities that I've looked at that I thought were really, really great for small businesses and personal networks. One is NerfSoft's Wireless Net Watcher. This is an agentless tool that scans a subnet does a pretty good job of discovery, even allows you to edit information. It's totally free. Probably of the two packages, the best for, us, for a personal network. The second tool is called Landsweeper, much more comprehensive, but the beauty of this tool, it's free up to 100 assets. And most small businesses are way below 100 devices on their network. It's also agentless, has an excellent discovery mechanism, the software could grow with that small business. Wireless Net Watcher is a, is a utility developed by a developer called NER Software. He develops all of the tools on this website and they are incredible. You can get false positives with certain antivirus tools that will indicate that this is a virus. When you use these utilities, that's not true. I mean, PowerShell is used by hackers. His tools are developed for IT professionals and developers. They can generate false positives with some antivirus tools. I'll have a lot of details about this utility in the notes in the video description. You can download our video notes. We're going to go to Network Tools, and we're going to come down here to Wireless Network Watcher. You can scroll down the page, and you get to the Download Wireless Watcher in a zip file, which is a portable tool. You can also download it with a full install, uninstall support. 
I don't like anything that installs, especially utilities, so I prefer the portable. So download the zip file, extract that into a folder, and you're ready to go. Now the tool in its portable form just basically is an exe, a help file, a cfg file, a readme, and then basically you can see all the various files that I've created as I audit what's on the network. So those I have given the name wireless scan one, two, three, four, etc. So those are my files that I have developed as part of my auditing. Let's go ahead and launch the tool for the first time. I'm going to execute it. It's going to begin the discovery process. What I'm going to do is stop it right here and I'm going to go to options and then I'm going to come to advanced options and I'm going to go ahead and give it the subnet that I want it to scan. So depending on what subnet address you're using, go ahead and punch in those values. Here it's pretty well detected what that is and I'm going to go ahead and scan that subnet. So we'll continue the, we're going to go ahead and initiate the scan. You can see that it doesn't determine the host name of every device, but over time. In fact, the longer you run this, the more it will discover and understand what's going on on your network. Now, NetWatcher doesn't have a very powerful net discovery system, so it doesn't have like NMAP built in and really do some investigation on each host. So it does its best to discover what's what devices are on your network. But the easiest way to discover what's on your network is simply turn everything off, run your scan, and one by one, turn everything on. In a small network, small business, that shouldn't take you more than an hour. And you will know as it grabs an IP address exactly what device that is. And you can edit this display. So here, I'm gonna go to 115, which we really don't know what this is. But let's say I knew that it was, it was an Amazon device. I could right mouse click, go to properties, and under user text, I could just simply say, so I know that's an Amazon device. And now I've actually added that under user text. So I could add information as each device comes online. I can put in my own information in there. So from now on, I know exactly what that is. Now, as it collects that information, it puts a NetWatch CFG file that's collecting this data into this file. So this becomes a permanent little miniature database for this tool. As the tool runs, the longer it runs, the more it discovers. So let's go to options again. Here you have a lot of things. You can set up the MAC address format, show advanced options automatically, which we'll get into, background scan, beep on new devices so if you want it to alert you you have someone there that can be aware that something came on the network that is not in the database you can beep on disconnected devices so this is very very nice you can also show all previous devices this shows you the history of what's been on the LAN. but let's go into advanced options f9 and again you can set up certain audio files for new device notification certain audio file for disconnected device notification. You can execute the following command. So you could run a script when a new device is detected. You could also execute a script when a device is disconnected. So this is very powerful. It's awesome. You can also set up background scan intervals so that it runs a background scan every hour, every 30 minutes, every 15 minutes, however you want. But here's where we get into auditing. I can automatically export all items to a file every 30 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever you just so desire. I want to save it in a common delimited text file. I'm going to give it a file name. We'll call it scan LAN. And I'm going to not overwrite the previous file. I'm going to generate a new file on every save. And I'm going to generate a file name with numeric counters. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. So now it will go ahead and automatically generate a scan file or a file in this folder where you have Wireless NetWatcher. So here you can see within 30 seconds, I've got my first set of data. And I'm going to go ahead and use Notepad. And you can just select all this data, copy and paste it into a spreadsheet and import it in. And I'll show you in that in a minute. Launched open office spreadsheet in the back. I've got my notepad, 
my first scan file. I'm just going to select all and copy and take it into open office, paste it. Actually, I'm just going to right mouse click and paste special. And we'll say unformatted text and say OK. And then I'm going to say comma and enter the data. And you can see real quickly, I've got a nice spreadsheet of all my information, scanning, device information, user. Remember, user text. The nice part about user text is this information I can modify within the tool. And you can see very, very quickly, I can build a spreadsheet and I can pop in some data, keep aware of when the scan was run, how often it was detected, is it active right now, quickly input my data into a spreadsheet. Now I have set this up for 30 seconds and you can see I've quickly added more data. Obviously 30 seconds is overkill. And here of course is a very nice feature. You can check this box and it says export to a file only when there's a change since the previous export. So this is really nice. If you want to keep the audit logs down so you don't have a lot of files to look at, just set it up so it exports only when there's been a change. That way when you look at these files, you know there's been a change at some point. Nerfsoft's Wireless Network Watcher is a simple, easy to use, and the data is easy to interpret. This is a very low cost, very effective tool to monitor your LAN. So our second package is LAN Sweeper. LAN Sweeper is a comprehensive package. It has great scanning. It has excellent agentless discovery, AD integration, cloud enabled. The beauty of this product is they're giving free use of this. Obviously it's crippled. Purposes that we want to use it are still functional even within this 100 device free license use. It can be incredibly powerful software suite for any growing software business. You could run a non-activated version of Windows 10 on a miniature PC, install the software on it, throw it in a network closet, set up remote, and basically have a powerful tool to monitor that small business. You can run it in a VM, which I would probably prefer, but it's not required. The free mode is not fully functional, but is very useful for the purpose that we want. So you can go to landsweeper.com. You can see the pricing. Let's go to pricing real quick. And you can see under 100 assets, it's free. You can use it unlimited users, scanning up to 100 assets. You only get community support, but I don't think you're going to need much more than that. It installed flawlessly on a Windows 10 PC. I had no issues whatsoever and ran really, really well. Under the resources, they have product demos, they have installation tutorials, they have everything that you want. So the website is very comprehensive. Now the tool runs inside a browser and this is basically the dashboard that you have and this is set up that I ran on my own home network. You can come up here to assets and here are the scanning results and discovery as it looked across my network. It did an excellent job of discovery. There is only one or two IP addresses that it really couldn't discover. And again, you can always shut everything off, fire up one at a time if you really want to find that one device. But it did a great job. The nice thing is you can just let it run and it will detect anything and everything on your network. Now, my particular home is a true geek home. I have over 24 assets, which is crazy. Keep in mind, you want to contact Landsweeper, their sales force, and be sure you understand their license restrictions. This is a tool for small businesses that is well worth you investigating. I will have details about both these products in the video notes and in the PowerPoints, which are free downloads in the video description. Now, if you've used either Nerfsoft's wireless NetWatcher or Landsweeper would love your feedback in the comments below. Let's go back to what we intended in this presentation. One, we want to know and audit who's on our LAN. An unauthorized device on our small business or our personal home network is deadly. We have to have tools that are low cost, simple to install, simple to configure, and the results are easy to interpret. This is one part of your security layered approach that can be very effective in quickly identifying an unauthorized device on your network.